Hello everybody, welcome to MechWarrior 3 Pirate's Moon, which is the expansion pack to uh, MechWarrior 3, so I guess uh, I'll do my thing again and go over a couple things. Yes, the game is a giant pain in the ass to get running on like modern operating systems. I don't. I only have Windows 7. Um, I basically did the exact same thing I did in my MechWarrior 3 LP, so I'm not even going to post that again. I'm going to just post you a link to the video. And you look at that video and you look in the description and that's pretty much uh, what I did to get this all running. Uh, I'm using a DG Voodoo wrapper to basically get um, the high resolution. Ignore what resolution says here because it's actually doing 1080p. Uh, it's being forced as such. Uh, I'm playing with difficulty high. Uh, the cheats are off even though they're just like regular options here. I've tried to modernize my controls a little bit by doing a WASD setup and some other stuff, uh, and things like that. Um, also, the music still doesn't play in these missions at all, um, or so not in these missions, not even in this main menu. Um, so once again, the music you're hearing is edited in by me. Uh, so I I am putting it into my videos because that's kind of how the game would basically be because. I, I actually, I haven't played this game entirely that much. Um, let's just say, I think I installed it one time and played like the first mission and and then I actually didn't play the game anymore than that. It was one of those things that I, I, I didn't actually buy ever, so um, I didn't play it at all because I, I, it just wasn't something I did. I, I mean, I, I, I bought Mech 3, but then this one I, I got a little bit later down the line. I acquired it through some means and um, uh, but I, I just I, I didn't actually just play through it because I think it was just I think it was old even by the time that I got it uh, my hands on it because I didn't even know that they made an expansion for this so it's the same boat as kind of like I guess like Pharaoh Cleopatra and some other games I've done which is like you know I, I I basically started it and then just never really started it up again I guess for some reason. Uh, so this is a blind run because honestly for this for this game I think I only vaguely recollect the first mission and that's it And the only reason I vaguely recollect it is it's the first time I ever used a light mech in in uh, Mech Warrior 3 I don't think I ever I think like because remember Mech Mech 3 always starts you off with the, the bushwhacker So but this one you get a bit of an option to start actually with light mech. So that's kind of cool um, Yeah, so with that being said, yeah, so if you have any technical problems, uh, I mean Go to the other video because I'm not gonna help you here because it's as I said it's the exact same fucking thing, like it it was like you know it was whatever. Uh, so okay, let's go. So we got campaign pirate missions and some other stuff. So we we start with the campaign. Uh, and I'm Mike Lett. Commander's Journal, Lieutenant Connor Sinclair reporting. We got our heroes welcome after fighting bravely against the clan invasion. Even received medals. Then, after some R&R, &R, we wound up being shipped off to the middle of nowhere. Well, it's not what we expected, but at least our unit is still together. This is our assignment, and politics or not, we'll honor it. Vale is a barren, meteor-scarred rock. Its lower elevations eternally shrouded by poisonous cloud cover. If not for the crater Madre and its germanium deposits, no one would ever set foot on this world. At least Corona is a federated sun's base, still sympathetic to Prince Victor. We won't feel quite so alone on this world. Corona base has a small stockpile of ore they want to send back up with the dropship. It will be vulnerable during the loading process, so Epona Rai and I are staying on location to defend the base and dropship from any attacks. Sorensen and his mobile field base vehicles remain with us. I've sent Dominic Payne and Alan Matilla forward to scout the road down to Madre. No sign of any pirate activity, but there is a rim collective base to the south that we'll need to keep an eye on as well. So far, they seem more inclined to welcome the extra security in the area than worry about our presence. I'm not certain that makes me feel any better, but why not be an optimist? All right, so uh, first things first, obviously there's no cutscenes anymore. Um, it's that uh, I maybe they're not playing because of a bug or something. I don't know. I don't think there's a cutscenes in this game. Uh, I can almost guarantee you that because I, I don't remember them being in like when I tried it another time. So, uh, that's the first thing. Second thing off is we're actually continuing off from the story in, in, in uh, Mech 3. Uh, 
So it's actually the same guy, we're the same kind of alliance leader, uh, with the same squad, uh, with the same mobile field bases, to, um, as far as, I guess, your your Mech 3 lore goes, uh, which is kind of interesting. So let's uh, like take a look at our salvage, because, I mean, this kind of shows what we have. So we have a, a Puma, an Owens, and a Centurion. So Centurion is like 50 tons or something, uh, and, and Owens and Puma are 35. So we actually have the option to start with um, a, th a 35 tonner. Um, and I just realized, like, I... I actually cannot tell what, how much time I've been playing this for because it this game like makes my other screen completely black, which is what I normally use to tell how long I've been playing for. So this first episode might be a bit awkward. All right. Anyways, uh, so we have uh, lasers and some other stuff. Tag, bap, double heatsink. All right. Um, I I don't know if we get any new weapons or anything here. That's the thing. Does the Puma get PPCs? Okay, it does get PPCs. So guess what? You get to be... I am going to take the Owens. Uh, sorry, not, not the Owens. I'm going to take the Puma, and you can take... I don't know, the Owens are... How, how fast does this one run? 97? This one runs 97, too. I mean, I know this is, like, the the lighter mech, but I, I kind of want the I kind of want the one with the, the PPCs. I mean, this guy's just going to waste them. He can go fucking, like, he, he okay, this guy's just gonna go fight, like, and, and tank damage for me, and I'm gonna basically, uh, snipe everything, so we need a really badass, like, like, sniping mech thing, there we go. Um, and we also get a targeting computer, and a flamer, you know, just for memes, you know. I mean, that seems pretty good, I, I just, I, I just wanna try a puma, man. Like, what, what, what other opportunity am I ever gonna get to fucking play with a puma? I think this is it. All right. Well, I don't remember how to make them always follow me, but whatever. Pulling up the rear. Pulling up the rear. All right. What's our objectives actually? Uh, to protect Fed Sun's base at Up Point Baker, and protect Rim Camp at Up Point Abel. All right. We also have a headlights button. I don't think that was in the first game, though. As far as I can tell, there's no thermal optics, though. Lieutenant, this is Corona Base. We got a Thor coming in. Looks like he's going for the AC turrets. Copy that. We're on it. He's using an AMS. Our missiles aren't hitting squat. Targeting. Oh, it's uh, Thor. Good tell him to attack my target. Uh, is there some reason why I can't? Oh, oh, this guy has no torso twisting. Oh fuck! No, I have a, I have a, I have a little Beck. Someone else needs to deal with us. Also, we can make our damage indicator slightly better. Oh my god, this guy has no torso twisting. I've got, I've gotten spoiled, guys. Uh, you, you got it, I'm sure. Flamer, go! Yeah, I kid him. Fuck, okay, let's get out of here. Alright, looks like looks like it was dealt with. So I'm a bit of a noob right now, because I, I completely forget how to play this game. Hopefully, uh, they, they have a fucking... Actually, there's MFPs right. Yeah, maybe we'll go here. Oh, we, we need our FMPs. What the hell is a person here? What the fuck? Get out of here. Uh, is that a... That is a... Clint IAC. Okay, I may have missed. Maybe. I may have killed someone. That's okay. I've done murder before. I, I can't see anything here. Oh shit. So let's, uh, let's just absorb the damage on their side here. I have uh, the utmost faith in, uh, is that a pro upon a rear or something? Oh 
I really want my MFBs to come over here. I'm like losing a lot of uh Fuck! Why? We're lost. This is another Centurion. Fuck our ERPPC. We only have one now. Actually, wait. I don't. I mean, I'm not even on the fucking. Was I firing the flamer the entire time? Okay, we we now have just the flamer, but that's that's only the only thing we need. You flamer bitch. I'll put it on your tap, Commander. Keep in touch. I don't think we've seen the last of the pirates. Didn't we just leave there? Understood. We're on our way. You heard the man. Move out! So, uh, what... Okay, I have several questions. First of all, what the fuck were they just saying? And second of all, um, I don't think I can get these PPCs back. <laughs> Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I, I mean, both of my arms are blown off. Like, what do you want? I think we fucking lost. Apparently, meeting for the first mission wasn't a good idea. I mean, to, you know, the thing is, technically, I could just take the Centurion and, uh... Um, and put the PPCs on it. Alright. Let's go. Headlights on. Fuck yeah. Put those high beams on. That's what we'll do, we'll blend them. Fuck! <laughs> we lost. Alright, well, redoing it. You know, quite honestly, most of these weapons don't look half bad. Maybe I, maybe I should just keep it on like this. I'm thinking about it. Man, but I love PPCs too much, but I'm, you know, there's gonna be plenty of other missions where we use PPCs. All right, maybe maybe we'll maybe maybe we'll do it the other way around then. All right, fine. So this person will be the one with the uh, puma, and I will be the casual, as as is foretold. Fuck. Wait, what, why is there thirty three tons? What what isn't on there right now? I feel like we're missing something, and it's probably double heat sinks. I can almost guarantee you that, that, that incompatible heatsink type. Yeah, I think this thing by default is missing something. And it's, yeah, it's probably double heat things. Well, I mean, I could put in a bunch more of these, but... I don't know, man. I mean, what does what the, the Owens have? It's got a LRM, two LRM5s. Fuck it, you know what, you can have that. I don't care. Apparently, apparently the first guy's AMS, though, so maybe not. Ah, uh, fine. We'll, we'll just do it like this. Keep our ERPPC mech in the the back there. Reactor online. Sensors on. Target at this ground base. We got a right away, sir. In. Looks like he's going for the AC turrets. Copy that. We're on it. He's using an AMS. Our missiles aren't hitting squat. Alright, let's try and weaken him a bit with some missiles. Even though he's got an AMS. It sounds like Pat talking, honestly. Uh, by the way, this one has way better torso twist. Fuck. Everything is like bouncing my neck around. I also made the MFB's moves immediately. The fuck? It's like a Thor, dude. It's kicking my ass. I don't want to lose my fucking parts of my neck. That's not, that sounded very... Alright, let's go directly to MFBs. Because they are arrived and ready to deploy. They're over here somewhere. There they are. Because apparently I'm so bad I need to regenerate my health immediately. Dude, it's hard. It's a Thor, like, right off the bat, man. And I'm playing like this fucking brawling mech. Game is difficult. That's okay. We have we have an Owens on our team, guys. An Owens. What could possibly go wrong? All repairs are done. You're good to go. All right.
fuck you, bitch. Is that the same mech I have? Oh yeah, it probably is. All right. Thanks for the assist, Lieutenant. I owe you big. I'll put it on your tab, Commander. Keep in touch. I don't think we've seen the last of the pirates. Roger, Lieutenant. Collective base out. Come on. Fuck you, bitch. We get we get my fucking repairs. Fuck. Waiting for rendezvous coordinates. Roger that, Lance Leader. Transferring now. What? I was on top of it. We have arrived and are ready to deploy. Corona base, this is Argent's Pride. We've got trouble headed our way. Two enemy mechs on an enemy. Lieutenant, you're all the We're on our way. You heard the man. Move out. Raiders are done. You're good to go. Raiders, roll out. All right. Now I remember that everything fucking died really fast. So let's get over there. All right. Affirmative. What the fuck? I'm gonna handle the other one. I have the utmost faith in you. I'm gonna target this one. Fuck. Dude, controlling this is hard, guys. Fuck you, bitch. I'm just gonna go for him right now. Hopefully before I get cored. God damn it. There we go. We got one. And my game appears to have crashed. This may not be the most stable of games. You got him. You got him, buttery. Holy shit. All repairs are done and we're out of here. Targeting. Corona base, this is Argent's pride. We've got trouble headed our way. Two enemy mechs on an intercept course. Lieutenant, ignore all other objectives. Get those mechs. If that ship doesn't take off, we're all in trouble. Didn't we just leave there? Understood. We're on our way. You heard the man. Move out. Alright. Oh shit. Mayday, mayday. I don't really need to have it zoomed in here. Fuck. What? Can you stop jump shutting around? Actually, did the AI ever do this in the other game? Right. Yes, sir. Let's go get this guy. I think I'm gonna hit that building there. No. What the fuck, dude? Alright, well, it's been a while and there's just nothing here, so. Well, uh. Alarm 10. I want to change my next uh, orientation, but I can't. Wait, am I, am I missing everything? This guy is taking no damage. I don't really want to have a fucking fisty fight with him. 
Oh my god. This mech is fucking awful. I fucking hate this one. Also, like, there's like a fucking fly that got splattered on my windshield here. Alright. Opponent Ree should be dealing with the other one. Look at this guy. Dude, he's hunting me down now. Did we just kill him? No, he just took a bu bunch of damage. Oh, there we go. Where's the other one? Opponent Ree, I trust that you have that one under control. I, I, I will take it as things are going very swimmingly well. I really wish I could fix this little physics bug I'm having because it makes it extremely hard to control things. I see you're dancing with a... Looks like the land. Lieutenant Sinclair. For now, at least. The pirates underestimated our defenses. Next time, they'll send a stronger force. Well, I don't intend to wait. Let's see what these pirates are up to. We can start by equipping our mechs with salvage jump jets and use them to explore the other side of the canyon. Okay. Well, I know I definitely have to restart my computer for that, because... Optimist or opportunist, it's good to have allies. Because of our efforts, the Rim Collective has agreed to work with us against this so-called pirate threat. I wish all factions on Vale were so easily dealt with. The Lyran base on the far side of Desolation Ridge is yelling for reinforcements. We were requested to abandon this base in favor of theirs, followed quickly by a firm order from Corona to remain. The representatives here worry that their share of the germanium would not reach the Federated Sons, but rather be appropriated by the Lyrans. I've even heard talk about sending the germanium directly to the Prince, wherever he ends up. Anyways, uh, alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time. Even though it says you're five, five minutes, but it took, obviously, a little bit longer than that, I think. I don't know, I'll see. Anyways, uh, bye.